White flag is out. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Well, he's not just your average driver, Adam. I can tell you that. He's one of the greatest that's ever sat in the seat. And, and tomorrow he'll try to sweep the weekend for the third time when it comes to winning at all three series. Did it twice at Bristol. One last night in the Gander Outdoors Truck Series race. And as he comes off turn four, he's going to get his 95th career win in the Xfinity Series. Kyle Busch does it at Texas. Ooh, way to go, man. That long. Good event. Third win of the year for Kyle Busch. Reddick, Bell, Briscoe, Burton. The top five post-race reaction is next. Kyle, 95 times now you've pulled into victory lane in the Xfinity Series. This one took a lot of work, though. What did you have to do to finally get this car out front at the end of that race? Um, well, not taking any tires was certainly a help. We jumped the field there, and I was worried about the restart. I just didn't think there was going to be enough grip. But um, this car certainly had enough grip in it. So um, can't thank IK9, um, the first foundation. This Toyota Supra was awesome today. Uh, it was really fast, really fast on the long run. I could just never get people away from me on the front side of the run to uh, to just settle into my rhythm, settle into my run, and to be able to go. Um, every time I got to the outside, people would just drive by me on the bottom, and then I'd get to the inside, and then somebody would bust it on the outside on me and make me lose, you know. So uh, we were just all over the place. But um, certainly uh, a fast race car once, once I could get rolling. But overall, Christopher Bell had ran a great race. He should have won this thing today. But um, I want to thank the fans, everybody, for coming out and, uh, and supporting the Xfinity Series and what we do here, and thank Monster Energy, Cessna, DVX Eyewear, and Black Clover. That's it. Kyle Busch <laughs> wins it, Texas. <laughs>